When most people think about Italy, they probably think about pizza, pasta, and this. Well, in geographical terms, people think about Italy as a boot. Yes. But they also think about other stuff, other cities, like Rome and its beautiful monuments like the Colosseum, the Vatican City, the Fontana di Trevi, and other cities as Milan, Naples, and Florence. But there are much more in Italy than just that. There are cities that are unknown to the general public. And today we're going to talk about a specific one that sits in the Balkans and takes about half of Slovenia's coast. So, welcome Jogerself of the World to this episode about the city of Trieste. Trieste is a city located in the north of Italy, right next to the border with Slovenia. It is part of the province of Trieste and is the capital of Rio de Venezia Giulia, a region with a special status in Italy. It sits in a particularly interesting location, contemplating Italy with a panhandle in geographical terms. Although the fact of being part of the Balkans is a debatable topic, it's noticeable how close it is from the countries that make that region. The most interesting geographical fact is due to its location. The small portion of land cuts right through Slovenia, robbing a large portion of the coast of this small Italian neighbor. But, geographers of the world, how did this piece of land become Italian and not Slovenian? Well, we have to go back in time over 100 years. Trieste was part of Austria from the 14th century until 1867, when the Austro-Hungarian Empire was formed. It had remained part of this empire until 1918, when its collapse occurred as a consequence of World War I. After this, it was annexed to Italy, which remains until today, but with some controversial events during the 20th century. In 1943, Italy was ruled by Mussolini on a fascist regime, and during World War II the Nazis eventually conquered the city and started to discriminate some ethnic groups, like the Jewish and the Slovenes, which made a substantial percentage of the population of that territory. In 1945, the Nazis eventually were forced to go back, with the Army of Yugoslavia and the Allies helping in the process. Two years after, Trieste was considered an independent state, having the protection of the UN under the name of the Free Territory of Trieste. This free state was divided in two, being the Colzone A under the rule of the government of the British and American forces, and Zone B under the Yugoslavs. In 1954, a referendum in Trieste determined that Zone A, which comprises most of the city, would remain as part of Italy, and Zone B would be kept under Yugoslav control. From last century until today, Trieste has developed a great Italian culture, running away from the influences of other countries that ruled this city in the past. Nowadays, you can pass by several neighborhoods and landmarks, identifying them a complete Italian architecture. You can be on the streets and see a lot of Vespas everywhere, and a unique quantity of pizzerias and geladerias with the best Italian flavors. Although, when you walk past by the city center, it's possible to observe the Austrian influence on the architecture of the city. A lot of these buildings in the city center were built under the regime of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. You can also see the dates of their construction in the top of each building with the Roman numerals. You can certainly feel Vien while standing in some parts of Trieste. Today, Trieste is a pure Italian city, proud of its roots and heritage. It is still a small secret in the Adriatic Sea which completes the vibe of a unique experience while visiting it. So, geographer of the world, travel here and you won't regret your experience.